a triangular prism formed by three planes. Show that the following system of equations form a triangular prism. x minus v plus y plus z equals to 1, x plus y plus 2z equals to 2, and x minus 5y minus z equals to 1. Well, uh, we can see that these planes, uh, let's label them as pi 1, as the first plane, pi 2, the second one, and pi 3, right? So these three planes, their normals are not parallel, correct? So, so they are not parallel planes, one. Second, now let's find out um, what kind of uh, intersection these planes have, okay? So what we can do is we can adopt, uh, I will adopt the matrix method of doing it and then uh, reduce the rows. So I'll use the augmented matrix. So first let me write down the augmented matrix for this. So I'll write the coefficients of x, y, z, which is 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 1. And these are the constants which come on the right side, which is 1, 2, and 1, correct? And now the coefficients for the second one is 1, 1, and 2. And this one is 1 minus 5 and minus 1. So this could be written as the augmented matrix like this and the idea is to make these zeros right so let's try to do that so what we will do is how can I make this zero to make uh, this zero what should I do so I can do this is row 1 this is row 3 right so I can do minus r1 plus r3 so we'll do just minus r1 plus r3 right in the third row first let's write down the first row as such which is 1 minus 1 1 and then this and then we have 1 there so now here if I do minus of r3 and add this to the third row minus of r1 row 1 so it becomes minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and minus of minus will become plus 1 plus 1 minus 4 will give me minus 4 I mean minus 5 and minus 1 minus 1 gives me minus 2 now I can make this also 0 by doing minus r1 and uh, adding r2 right so I'll minus r1 from here and plus r2 correct and then let's see what we get so if I do minus of this with 1 it becomes 0 minus and minus becomes plus plus one becomes two and minus one plus two is one and here oh i forgot to write here anyway so minus one plus two is one and here i'll do minus one plus one will give me zero right so that is my augmented matrix and i got two zeros correct i need this one to be zero now so to make this 0, what should I do? I should do 2 times R2 and add that to R3, correct? So then I will get that as 0. So what I am doing now is, I am doing 2 times R2, so let me write here, 2 times R2 plus R3, right? That should give me 0 uh, for this position, right? So I will write down the first, okay this is plus this is one is minus one one and then we have one one and zero okay here I should not have written it now anyway here we have zero two one and now we'll do minus um, no we just do two times r2 so here it is zero zero uh, two times r2 is four and four plus minus four is zero uh, and 2 times this is 2 and 2 minus 2 is also 0 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 plus 0 is 2 so this is not 0 but this is 2 correct so that's what you get if I do 2 times r2 so twice r2 times r3 right so I wrote here which is not very clear what I did was I did 2 times r2 plus r3 correct then I get 0 0, 0, 0, 2, correct? 
Now, it clearly indicates that 0 cannot be equal to 2 and therefore there is no solution, correct? Now, this system of equations doesn't have any solution. But important thing here is that none of the planes are parallel and therefore they form a prism, right? So, I can draw and show you how will they look like. So, in so if we draw them like a prism, these three planes, they will be kind of like this. So let's say this is one of the planes and the other plane was cutting in this angle. And like say, let's say like this and goes back. And like this is the second plane. So these two planes actually intersect in a line right and that line is kind of like this you see it's a, it's a line like this in which these two planes intersect and how about the third plane so the third plane actually is not intersecting at this line otherwise we would have got zero 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 equals to zero right so the third plane actually is is kind of like this and it intersects but it intersects like in a line like this do you see that that's my third plane so the third plane intersects in a line which well the lines here are so the third plane intersects with this plane with that particular line correct and with the green plane with this line do you see that so we have three lines here each set of two planes intersect in lines and it seems that the lines are parallel okay so but we need to prove it for this to be a triangular prism these lines should be parallel right so one how to prove this right so what we can do is we can find the slope of these lines of intersection is that okay and if the slope of these lines is same that means they're parallel right so let's do that part now that means let's look into the first Two. Let's say m1 is is the slope of n1 cross n2. Right. So let's figure out what is m1 equals to. m1 is m n1 cross n2. Right. Let me use a different ink. Now for this, which is equal to, so this is my pi 1 and pi 2 so I'll use i j k these are my unit vectors in the three directions and my normal vectors will be 1 minus 1 1 right and for n2 it will be 1 1 and 2 correct now I can calculate this I say i times minus 2 minus 1 minus j times 2 minus 1 plus k times 1 minus of minus 1 makes it 1 right so which I can solve as minus 3i the unit vectors and 2 minus 1 is is 1 so it gets uh, minus this is minus here so minus j and here we get 2k plus 2 Okay, so that's my m1, right? Let's calculate what is m2. m2, let us say, is n1 cross n3, right? And so let's figure that out. So it'll be i, j, k, and m1 is 1 minus 1, 1, and m3 is 1 minus 5 and minus 1. So let's calculate this out. So i times minus 1 times minus 1 is 1 minus which becomes plus 5 minus j times 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus k times minus 5 and this is plus 1 correct so this gives me 5 plus 1 is 6 i and minus minus is minus 2 which makes it plus 2 j and for k it is minus 4k minus 4k right 
this is doesn't look like same but yes we can factor out minus 2 right so if I factor out minus 2 what do I get if I factor out minus 2 uh, well this I could write as the vector uh, direction vector as minus 3 minus 1 and 2 is it okay and here it is if I divide by minus 2 I get the same thing minus 3 minus 1 and 2 correct now similarly we can also do for m3 which is n2 cross n3 right oh, which is equals to i j and k and n2 is 1 1 and 2 1 1 and 2 and n3 is 1 minus 5 minus 1 so this will be equals to i times minus 1 and 5 minus will become plus 10 okay and now j times 1 minus 1 is minus 1 and 2 minus 2 correct and k times plus k 1 minus 1 is minus 1 uh, sorry 1 minus 5 I should have written minus 5 okay and minus of minus 1 right so this is what you get for this right which is 10 minus 1 is 9i minus this is minus 3 which makes us plus 3 j and k is minus 6 so minus 6k right and this could be written as I can take 3 out right so if I take we want minus 3 so I'll take minus 3 out so minus 3 so this gives me minus 3 and that gives me minus 1 and that gives me plus 2 so as you can see that from here m1 equals to so we see that m1 is equals to m2 is equals to m3 right so the slope of all the three lines where two individual planes intersect are parallel so that is kind of a very important uh, observation which we do here and that makes it like a triangular prism right so the three planes which do not have any two common um, parallel planes they will intersect in three different lines right two will intersect in lines so three different lines and all these three lines will be parallel okay so that is a very important consideration uh, which you should keep in mind okay I hope you learn a lot from this and it's a good experience thanks